Hey guys, welcome to Tactor's tutorial. In today's video, we'll learn about 3D carousel slider in Figma or how to create 3D carousel slider in Figma. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. So if you're searching for cutting edge design and collaboration software, just click the link in the description box below to sign up and get started with Figma for free today. Now, if you're searching for cutting edge design and collaboration software, just click the link in the description box below to sign up and get started with Figma today. And if you're not familiar with this platform, just a quick overview with Figma, it is a cloud-based design and prototyping tool that's become popular in design and UI and UX circles. So it allows teams to collaborate in real time, works on multiple platforms, and offers powerful vector editing tools. So these can create interactive prototypes, maintaining design consistency, using components and libraries, and also track version history. They also have an auto layout which simplifies responsive design and plugin extends its functionality. Overall, Figma is ideal for developer hand up as well with features for generating design specification and asset and it also fosters community sharing and offers robust security features and Figma streamlines the design process, promotes collaboration and empowers designers to create and share their work effectively. If you want to get started with Figma today, right after you click the link in the description box below, you should be able to see Get Started for free so that you could create an account for free in here. Now creating an account here on Figma is just easy. You'll have the option to continue using your Google account, type in your email and password, and there is a checkbox if you agree to join Figma's mailing list. So right after, you'll just need to click on Create Account, and by clicking that and also this Continue with Google, you should agree to the terms and privacy, also the Figma TOS, and you could use a single sign-on. And if you have an account already, just simply click on to login. So it is also the same with signing up, just your email and password, or you could continue with Google. And if you have forgotten your password, just simply click on to reset password. Now, right after doing a quick login, you should get redirected onto Figma's dashboard. Now, once you're already here onto the dashboard, so this is what Figma's dashboard looks like. Here onto the left side, you should be able to see the recent things that you have onto your account, the other things in here such as your favorite files or teams. You could explore also the community for that and also we could view plans in here. So you could choose the plan that is right for you. We have the monthly and the yearly billing and we're currently using the starter which is free for trying things out. They also have the professional which is the most popular for Figma Design and FigChamp. $12 and $3 and the organization for bringing teams together, sharing an organizational wide design system and many more, which is Fig Figma Design at $45 and FigJump at $5 per month. So you could just view here the different features that it offers and you could see more here onto the bottom part if you click into here. Now going back here onto the dashboard, so for us to be able to get started, we'll need to create a new file for that. So here onto the upper part, there is a design file. If you click onto that one, you could go ahead and get redirected onto the editing page. And here onto the editing page, there are a lot of things that you could use to customize further this thing that we're gonna do it, that we're gonna do today or the design. But before we start, you need to gather some essential assets. So there are things that we need to prepare first before going in or designing it fully. So as you can see, these are the things that I have prepared in here. I have here a background slider, which we're going to use onto the sliding, onto the different design colors. Also, the labels that we have in here, one, two, three, and some labels in words, one, two, three as well. So this is just for a tutorial so that it would be easier for us to find out. I'm going to use some numbers in here. Now, for us to be able to get started in here, we're going to go ahead and create a frame so that we could go ahead and try to set up our design and place the mock-up inside. So for us to be able to get some mock-ups, we're going to use a website in here, which is free pics that offers a lot of photos in here for free. So what we'll need to do is we'll just need to create the frame. We'll just need to create the frame first in here before we get started. Now you'll just have to click onto this one in here, the frame button. And here onto the frame, there are actually a lot of designs that are offered. So you could create a custom one just by dragging and dropping it. But we could go ahead and try to choose in here if this is for a desktop. We're going to go ahead and try to search in here for this one as well. So we're going to just move this here and let's try to make it bigger. Let's going to go ahead and try to zoom out first. And then let's move it here beside the design so that 
we could go ahead and have a full visibility onto it. So right after that, what we'll need to do is we're going to go ahead and try to adjust its size and position within its frame. So I think we could just go ahead and try to match this one up, the size of this one, so that it would be the same with our background. Now let's gonna go get this one out and then right after, let's gonna go ahead and try to search for a mockup that we can use in here. For example, we're gonna go ahead and try to add in a can. Let's gonna go ahead and try to add it in here, can. Now as you can see, there are a lot of options that we could choose from in here. So I think this one is good, just a can that is standing. We're gonna go ahead and try to get this. Let's gonna go ahead and download. Now, once you're back here onto the design, that downloaded image earlier onto FreePick, we're gonna drag and drop it in here onto our Figma design so that we could go ahead and use this as our main page. So we're just gonna adjust it like that. So we'll just make sure that it would fit our frame in here. So we could do it like this and it should look like that. Now, right after, we're gonna go ahead and grab the different labels that we've made earlier. So this one. So what we'll need to do is we'll can adjust this so that it would go ahead and fit here onto our design. So we could go ahead and try just to put it like that. And then right after, we'll gonna mask it onto our design. Now just head here onto the upper part. You could see use as mask. And you should be able to see the design just like this. Now you should be able to resize the mask in here so that it fit the cat. So for this example, it should look like this, but I actually seen this template that was made by UI Adrian, wherein it has a design already so that it would fully show you what it should look like when it is masked inside a can already. So as you can see, this is a template and this is how it should look like right after it was masked. So this is the labels that he created. So as you can see, it, you could just put it like that here onto its background of the can and then right after just click onto this add mask button in here so that it would look like this and then what he did as well is he customized the back of it add in some fruit and also the one that we created earlier this one two three he actually made something also for this one for its flavor the pure apple and exotic so you should be able to make three designs out of this just do the things that we did earlier mask it to the can so that it would put the design of the can also add in its details or designs that you want to add so as you can see that is the next thing that you, we should do actually to add in some labels so you could add some labels onto the background of it to blend in seamlessly you could also add in some shadows just like what ui adrian did in here so that it would be appear as it it is surrounded by this floating fruits so you should add some illusions like this kinds of shadows that has been added onto the side to add more style so just make sure that once you're already creating this design or the next design since we've gone ahead and made earlier something like this for the background what you'll need to do for that one is you'll just need to click onto this one in here and then you'll just need to slide in the design or the mask design so just for example for the can since we have the can already in here since we masked this out you'll just need to go ahead and try to click onto this mask mask one and then you're gonna go ahead and try to slide in the design like that to change it so that it will have an effect once you're already sliding it onto your design so it should look like that once you've changed it so as you can see we've gone ahead and successfully changed the other colors but make sure that once you're doing it you'll just have to slide it like that and as you can see, you should do the same things for the label. So this one, you should be able to add it just like you're adding it like up and down in here so that it would go ahead and just lay directly once you're already navigating through the pages of it. Also for this background slider, so you could do the same thing since this one is actually also made for just like that or just like how this is done should create to do this so that once it is done you should be able to slide, slide this one seamlessly together with the fruits so as you can see we could do a quick preview onto how it should look like so that we could see how is the carousel slider would work now as you can see here onto the preview onto UI adrian's design if you slide onto it it should actually look like this now as you can see it will go ahead and try to slide in like this so the sliding is actually done by onto which we've added the three designs just like that so as you can see if you move it onto here onto the right 
it would go ahead and scroll like that together with the text that we mentioned earlier and with the fruits so what you'll need to do is you'll just need to align the three designs and then mask it and then once you have already designed it like this it would go ahead and try to move it like this one so the thing that is actually making this move like that is actually here onto this prototype section so as you can see if you click onto this one it has been added with a flow so you'll just have to click onto this position and then scroll with parent so that once it is scrolled it will go ahead and move truly or move directly once it is placed like this and that's just basically it on to creating a 3d carousel slider in figma and if you think this tutorial was helpful to you don't forget to hit the like subscribe and if you have any question don't hesitate to comment it down below Thanks for watching and we'll see you on to our next video.